Here is my 11. 11 has a 10 and a 1. I'm going to take away the 2. 1, 2. I took away a 1 from the 1's place. I took away another one from inside the 10. So one minus one is zero. One minus one is zero right here. There's nothing left. And then 10 minus one, here it is, 10 minus one equals nine. There's my nine. 10 minus one, my answer is nine. If you add those leftovers, zero plus nine, the answer is nine. Let's do 11 minus three. Again, 11 has a 10 and a one. I'm going to take away three, one, two, three. I took away one from the ones place, and then I took two from the 10. I took one from the ones place, one minus one is zero. I'm taking the two from the 10, two minus 10 is eight, five, six, seven, eight. 10 minus two equals eight. Add those leftovers, zero plus eight, our answer is eight. Let's do 11 minus four. There's my 11, again, 11 has a 10 and a one. Now we're going to take away the number four. Now, if I just look here, I wanna take one from the ones place, so, I'm going to put the one here that I want to take away. If I take away one, there's still a three left because I only took away one. I want to take away two, three, four. I need to take away three more, right? Because one plus three is four. So let's look at that here. I'm going to take away four from the 11, starting from here. One, two, three, four. I took the one from the one, I got a zero. One minus one equals zero. And then I'm going to take the three from the 10. Take the three from the 10. What do you have left? Five, six, seven. I took the three from the 10 and I have a seven left. We add those leftovers. Zero plus seven is seven. Go ahead and write your answers on your board and then we'll start looking at letter B. I meant to say your workbook. Okay, letter B says 16 minus six. So I'm going to put the number 16 in my tens frame. 16 has a 10 and a six. 16 minus six. I'm going to write this a little higher so I can fit more of them. 16 minus six. Then we have 16 minus seven, 16 minus eight, and 16 minus nine. Okay, let's do 16 minus six. I love this one. This is my favorite because you can just easily take these from here, right? You could take the six from the six, what would be left? A 10, right? Let's do take away the six from the six. Here's the six. Take away the six. Take away one, take away two, three, four, five, six. I love it when that happens because you just have the 10 left, right? We didn't have to take anything apart here. Let's look at 16 minus seven. I have number 16 on my tens frame, and I'm going to take away the seven. Take away one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. So how much did I take from the ones place? I took a six from the ones place. I took all of that because I'm subtracting from the ones first. And then six minus six, what did I get? Zero. But I didn't take away seven yet. I need to take away one more. Six plus one more is seven. Now I'm going to subtract that one from the tens place. There it is. I took away that one. 10 minus the one. 10 minus the one leaves five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the answer is nine. Is this getting easier for you guys? Are we getting the hang up of our second method of taking away from the ones place? Let's practice a couple more until we're really comfortable using the second method. Okay, we have 16 again on our tens frame and we're going to take away the number eight. Again, we're gonna start from the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can see I took six from the ones place, six minus six equals zero. And then from the 10, I took away a two. From the 10, I took away a two. Six plus two is eight. Take away the two from the 10. 10 minus two is eight. If you add those leftovers, eight plus zero is eight. Let's do the last one, 16 minus nine. I'm gonna go ahead and put my 16 back. And now I'm going to take away nine. Inside the nine, there is a six. So I'm going to take away the six first, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to continue taking away until I take away nine. That was six, seven, eight, nine. How many more did I take away from the tens place? I took three from the tens place. I'm gonna write my three here. Six plus three is nine. So I took the six from the six, six minus six and got a zero. Then I took away the three from the 10. I took the three from the 10 and got a seven five, six, seven. And when you add those leftovers, my answer is seven. Now let's look at number six and do some more subtracting. Number six, letter A says 15 minus nine. So I'm going to draw my 15 on my tens frame and you can put your counters on it to make your 15. The number 15 has a 10 and a five. Inside the number nine, there is a five inside of this number. So I'm gonna write a five because I really wanna be able to take the five from the five, right? Because it's so easy to subtract five minus five. If I take five from here, one, two, three, four, five, how many more do I need to take out? Five, I still need to take out four more because five plus four gives us nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you see we had to take away four more to get to nine? You got it. So now we know five minus five, we did that. Five minus five is zero. Now we're going to take away the four from the 10. Four minus 10 equals six. Add those leftovers, our answer is six. Let's look at letter B. Letter B is 13 minus eight.
13 minus 8. 13 has a 10 and a 3. Inside of the 8, there is a 3. What else is inside of the 8? 3 plus what gives us 8? 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I'm going to take away the 3 first. 1, 2, 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Now I'm going to take the 5 from the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. Add those leftovers. 0 plus 5 is 5. Okay, let's do 14 minus 6, which is letter C. Inside the 14, there is a 10 and a 4. I'm going to take away a 6. Inside the 6, there's a 4 and a 2. Take the 4 from the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. What's left? 0. Take the 2 from the 10. 1, 2. What's left? 5, 6, 7, 8. Add those leftovers. 0 plus 8 is 8. Let's look at letter D. Letter D is 12 minus 6. Go ahead and fix your tense frame to show the number 12. 12 minus 6. Inside the 12, there is a 10 and a 2. Inside the 6, there is a 2. What else is inside of the 6? 2 and a 4. If you're struggling with this, be sure to use your number bond to help you. Put your 6, your 2, and then ask yourself, 2 plus what gives me 6? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. Now we can ready we are ready to subtract. 2 take away 2 is 0. 2 take away 2 is 0. Now I'm going to take away the 4 from the 10. 4 from this 10. 1 2 3 4 from the 10. What am I left with? A 6. Add those leftovers. 0 plus 6 is 6. Let's look at letter E. E is 15 minus 6. Go ahead and put 15 on your tens frames. 15 minus 6. I'm going to put a 6 here. Inside the 15, there is a 10 and a 5. Inside the number 6, there is a 5. What else is inside of the 6? 5, 6, 1. One more. Now I can subtract. What should I take away first? I want to take away 5 from the 5, because that's really easy, right? 5 minus 5 is 0. I'll do it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 minus 5, 0. Now I'm going to take away the 1 from the tens place. Take away the 1 from the tens place. 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. 0 plus 9 is 9. Let's do letter F. 11 minus 7. Eleven minus seven. I'll put my seven up here. Oh, whoops! It was eleven. I drew too many circles. 
Okay, here's my 11. The number 11 has a 10 and a 1. Inside of the 7, there is a 1. And 7 has a 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many dots did we draw? 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. So instead of 7, there's a 1 and a 6. Now that I took apart my 7, I can subtract. I'm going to take away the 1 from the 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now I'm going to take away the 6 from the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is left? 10 minus 6 is 4. If you add those leftovers, all you have is 4. Great job on this page. Let's turn to the next page in your workbook. It looks just like this. I'm going to go ahead and read the word problem. It says, and you can read it along with me in your book. It says there are 15 salmon eating. So there are 15 salmon fishes eating. I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to draw a picture of what I know so far about the fishes, okay? It said there are 17, I'm sorry, 15 salmon eating. So I'm going to show my number 15 and you can do that on your tense frame. There is 15 salmon eating. If seven salmon swim away, if they're swimming away, we are subtracting. How many salmon will be left? It's asking how many will be left. So I know inside the number 15, there is a 10 and a five. Inside the seven, there is a five and five, six, seven. Five and two make seven. So now I'm ready to subtract. Five minus five is zero. I'll do it on here. Five minus five is zero. Am I done subtracting? No, right? Because I still have to take away the two from the 10. Take away the two from the 10. 10 minus two is eight. 10 minus two is eight. Add those leftovers, zero plus eight is eight. So how many salmon will be left? Eight salmon will be left. In your book, and the same problem, it's showing you a box minus a box equals a box. So, and then underneath there's another box and then it says salmon will be left. So here we're writing down 15 salmon, what we're starting with. The seven salmon that we're taking away that is leaving and this is the number that represents what is left and this is your statement eight salmon will be left okay all right number eight has the letter a and b we're going to start with letter a letter a says seven is i'm sorry seven less than 16 is so it said seven less than, when something is less than, we show it by subtraction symbol, seven less than 16 is. So we are subtracting 16 minus seven. I'm going to write my 16 on my blank double tens frame. Here is my number 16. And I'm going to take away the number seven. Inside the seven, there is a six. And what else? Six, seven. There's a six and a one. Now that I've taken apart my seven, I can subtract. Six minus six is zero. Two, three, four, five, six minus six is zero. I still have to remember to take away this one from the 10. Take away that one from the 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. 
Add those leftovers, nine and zero. Our answer is none. Seven less than 16 is none. Let's do letter B. Six less than, six less than 13 is. Now we're subtracting six from the number 13. Here is my 13. And I'm going to take away my six. Inside of the six, there is a three. What else is inside of the six? I know three plus three is six. So there's two threes inside of the six. Now I can subtract. Three minus three is zero. Three minus three is zero. 10 minus three, 10 minus three is seven. Five, six, seven. Add those leftovers. Seven plus zero is seven. So six less than 13 is seven. Great job, we just finished our lesson in our textbook. Let's open to the same lesson in our workbook. Okay, we are now on exercise three inside our workbook and we're going to subtract seven from 15. And here is my picture of 15 and they're taking away a five and a two. So inside of the seven, inside of the seven, there is a five and a two. They took the five from the five and got a zero. And then they're taking away the two from the 10 equals eight. Add those leftovers, zero plus eight is eight. Let's look at number two. It says 12 minus two. Here's my 10, 11, 12. I'm going to take the 2 from the 2. What is left is my 10. 12 minus 5. Inside of the 5, there is a 2. What else is inside that 5? 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. There is a 3. 2 plus 3 make 5. So now I can subtract. Take the 2 from the 2, like they did here. You get a 0. Take the 3 from the 10, just like they did here. 10 minus 3 is 7. 10 minus 3 is 7. So this side of the equation is 7. That means this side of the equation also has to be 7. 10 minus what gives you 7? 10 minus 3 gives you 7. 12 minus 5. Inside the 5, there is a 2, just like here, and there is a 3. Take away the 2s, you get a 0. 10 minus 3, 7. Just like we did here, 12 minus 5, 12 minus 5 is 7. Let's look at number three, 14 minus four. Take away the four from the four. Easy peasy, what's left is a 10. 14 minus six. The number six has a four and four, five, six, two. Four plus two is six. Take the four from the four, you get a zero. Subtract the 2 from the 10, just like they did here. What's left is your 8. Add those leftovers, your answer is 8. If this side of the equation is 8, this side also has to be 8. 10 minus what gives you 8? 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. 14 minus 6 is... 14 minus 6 is 8. Let's turn to the next page. It says subtract 11 minus 8. 
the number eight has a one and a seven. Seven plus one is eight. Take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One away from the one is zero. Seven from the 10 is three. Three plus zero is three. 12 minus four. Here's my number 12. And I'm going to take away four. One, two, three, four. What's left? Five, six, seven, eight. What was inside that four? There was a two and another two. I took the two from the two and got a zero. I took the two from the 10 right here and got the number eight. Zero plus eight is eight. Okay, we already did A in our workbook, so I'm writing B up here, 13 minus six. The number six has a three inside and another three. Three minus three is zero. 10 minus three is seven. Our answer is seven. Letter C, 12 minus six. The six has a two and a four. Two minus two is zero. 10 minus four is six. Our answer is six. Let's look at letter D is 11 minus seven. The seven has a one and a six. One minus one is zero. 10 minus six is four. My answer is four. 16 minus eight, this is letter E. The eight has a six and a two. Six minus six is zero. 10 minus two is eight. Our answer is eight. Let's look at letter F, 14 minus nine. The nine has a four and a five. Four minus four is zero. 10 minus five is five. Our answer is five. Let's look at number eight. Number eight has a lot of pelicans. It says 15 pelicans are on the beach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 pelicans are on the beach. If seven of them fly away, so I'm gonna draw minus seven because they're flying away, equals, how many pelicans will be left on the beach? And for you in your textbook, there was a box minus a box equals another box. I started with 15 because it said there are 15 pelicans on the beach. I put a seven here because seven of them are flying away. We are subtracting because they are being taken away. They are flying away. Equals how many pelicans will be left on the beach. Okay, so now we're going to solve 15 minus seven. Inside of the seven, there is a five and a two. Let's subtract the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice I took, can you see the five and the two? There's your five and there's your two. So take the five from the five, five minus five is zero. 10 minus two is eight. Five minus five is zero. 10 minus the two is eight. Therefore our answer is eight. There are eight pelicans left on the beach and at the bottom there is a statement there's a line and it says, pelicans will be left on the beach. This is your statement. And we would write down our eight here, saying that eight pelicans will be left on the beach. And you're done. You did a great job today, guys. I'm so proud of you. See you tomorrow. Bye.